This video I want to give you some tips for getting up and running in ArcGIS Pro and how to set up a new project folder. Before we begin, I'm going to start in File Explorer here in the generic class folder that I've created. And typically in a class folder like this, you'll see a copy and paste folder where I'll deposit materials that I want you to copy and paste into your own folder. Here I have a folder of data that one would copy uh, the folder entirely. And then I have a student's folder where you would establish your own folder. I've got mine here. Notice I don't use any symbols or spaces. And I've already copied and pasted that entire data folder into mine. And as I go along and I create new project folders, they will appear in my student folder. So the this video sort of assumes that you've already gone through this process of set, establishing your own project folder. This video assumes that you've already established your own student folder. Okay. So if I open up ArcGIS Pro here, when you first open it up, you'll, what you'll see is that you have access to recent projects, and these are APRX files um, that contain all the ingredients of a particular project. Uh, if you don't see a project that you uh, have previously saved, you can browse for it here in the Open Another Project uh, folder right here. Uh, if you need to establish a new project, I would start with the blank template for a map. Now, if this is your first time in ArcGIS Pro, I always recommend that people establish a, a play folder. Uh, that they can always go back to and just play around, generate new data sets, um, and warehouse them in that play folder so that you're not creating a new folder project every time you go into ArcGIS Pro just to kind of explore and mess around. So that's what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on Map. And for the name of the project, I'm going to call this Play. And the location will be my student folder. So you just go browse for it in the S drive, in the class folder, the student's drive, your own folder. Um, what I would recommend though is only clicking once on your student folder. Don't go inside of it, okay? And then hit okay. And create a new folder for this project. What you will see if I bring up File Explorer again is that now that play folder has been created and inside of that, a variety of other elements, most of which you won't be using. I do want to highlight this play.gdb. That's a geodatabase folder. And that's actually where most of your materials are going to get saved as you generate new data sets within ArcGIS Pro. If I go through File Explorer and go in there, you'll notice that it looks uh, rather complex. It won't appear as complex once you're accessing that folder within ArcGIS Pro. Um, the few exceptions to saving elements to a geo database is if you're exporting a table of data as a CSV file, which you may do on some occasions, I would just save those to the, the general project folder, not the geo database folder within it. Okay, let me say that again. If you're just exporting a table of data as a comma delimited CSV file, save it just into the general project folder, not the geo database folder within it. Same thing as if you create a CSV file outside of ArcGIS Pro that you want to use to warehouse some data and then bring that into your GIS. Again, I would save that into just the general uh, project folder, not the geodatabase. Okay. So uh, once you're in ArcGIS Pro, a few things. Notice I've got some uh, pane tabs over here. There's one for catalog, one for geoprocessing, and one for symbology. There are others that may accumulate over time. If you don't see those, I want to get rid of catalog and geoprocessing. If you don't see those, what you'll want to do is click on the View tab at the top here and check the catalog pane. And then you've got the catalog pane. The same thing with the geoprocessing here. Okay. And if you have the pin set just right for auto hide, if you just click on the map, they will auto hide. Now the catalog pane is important because that's where we'll be accessing our data. And you'll notice that there's a folders option here. And if I click to open that up, I already have access to the play project folder that I created. What I don't have access to is the data folder that warehouses all of my data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on folders and add folder connection and navigate to the class folder, my folder and highlight the data folder. Don't go any deeper and hit okay. And now I have access to that data folder and everything inside of it. So if I wanted to, for example, add counties, I can just click and drag 
into my GIS. Okay. Now the geoprocessing pane that's used for doing various kind of data manipulation functions. The symbology pane will be used when we are formatting maps. And there's another one for charts when you start doing charts and things like that. Um, I do recommend that people kind of peruse the various main menus and see what's within them. Don't get overwhelmed though. What you'll find out is that we don't use 90% of what's available. There are just a few key functions that we'll be, we'll be using in these tutorials and that accomplish a lot for us. Uh, one other thing in terms of setting up, you'll notice I've got the explore icon here and also a rectangle zoom icon here. And I had those created as a result of this drop down, and I checked those boxes. Um, I just prefer to have access to those no matter what menu I'm in. The rectangle zoom option is my preferred way for um, zooming in on particular areas. So you just do a left click, hold, draw a rectangle, and let up, and it zooms in on that extent. If I don't like where I'm at, just make sure you're clicked on the map tab. Uh, you can go to previous extent, and it will zoom back out. The alternative way of zooming in and out in um, ArcGIS Pro is if I click on the Explorer icon, if I hold the cursor or the hand over the place I want to zoom in or out on, um, like Minnesota here, I can right click and pull down on the mouse and it will zoom in or I can push up. Okay, So wherever I put that cursor, if I put it on Nevada and pull down, it will zoom in. So that's an alternative way of zooming in and out outside of the drawing a rectangle. So that's how you set up ArcGIS Pro. I will point out that if you were to um, come into ArcGIS Pro and not want to actually create a new project folder, but you just want to go in and start creating data sets um, as the other tutorials will show you how to do, but you don't want to create a new folder each time, that's where I would definitely go back and find your play project, whether it's located here or if you have to browse for it, um, I would open that up. Um, what you'll find then is you don't have to have, you know, a new project folder just to, to play. And in the catalog, you'll have access to it. You'll still have to map to the data folder, um, but you won't have to create a whole nother play folder. Now, if you've played before and you've got 10 different files up here in the table of contents section. You might want to remove those just so you don't um, get in your own way. But that's an easy way in which you can uh, sidestep having to create a new folder each time you get in.